Twin Rivers is enabling multi-factor authentication, or MFA, for all employees by the end of the 2022-23 school year. This video will contain step-by-step -step instructions for how to enable MFA for both Microsoft and Google. How do I enable Microsoft MFA? When you are enrolled in MFA, after entering your username and password, you'll be prompted to provide additional security information in one of three ways. One, using the Microsoft Authenticator app. Two, using an authentication phone or cell phone. Or three, using your office phone. Method one, authenticate using the Microsoft Authenticator app. Using the Microsoft Authenticator app is the preferred and most secure authentication method. Although the initial setup takes a little more time, it is the easiest method to use following setup. Go to the following site, mysignins.microsoft.com forward slash security dash info. Once signed in, click on the plus sign to add sign in method. To authenticate using the Microsoft Authenticator app, Choose Authenticator app as the method to verify your password. Step two, download the app. Search for Microsoft Authenticator app in the App Store, Google Play Store, or Microsoft Store. Install the app on your mobile device. On your phone, open the Authenticator app. Click the Add Account or the plus sign button to add your Twin Rivers account. Select Work or School Account. Use your device's camera to scan the QR code from the Configure Mobile App screen on your computer or manually add your work account to the app to set up. Follow the instructions on the app to sign in with your network credentials, then click Next. A test approval pop-up will appear on your phone. Select Approve on your phone. After you have approved, a pop-up will appear that says the notification was approved. Click Next. You will get a green message saying your sign-in method was successful. Make sure you get the success notification that you have successfully set up your security info. Click Done. Method 2. Authenticate using an authentication phone. This authentication method requires the use of your personal or work cell phone. To authenticate using your phone, go to your settings at mysignins.microsoft.com forward slash security dash info, then click on add sign in method. To choose your cell phone, choose phone as the method to verify your password. Click Add to continue setup. Then choose to receive a phone call or send a code by text message. Add your phone number, then click Next. Now verify with a text message or phone call. If you select the Send Me a Code by Text Message option, you will receive a text message from 87892 with a six digit verification code. Enter the code into the box and click Next. Alternatively, if you select the Call Me option, you can get a call from 855-330-8653. Hit the pound key to continue. After you verify with a text message or a phone call to your cell phone, you will see a verification successful message. Click Done to proceed into your account. Method three, authenticate using your office phone. This authentication method will only work when you have access to your office phone. You will not be able to get into your account from outside of your office. To authenticate using your office phone, in your security info settings, click the plus sign for add sign in method. To choose office phone, Choose Office Phone as the method to verify your password. Click Add to continue setup. Enter your office phone number and extension if you have one and click Next. 
you will receive a phone call from Microsoft. Answer the call and follow the instructions to press the pound key to continue verification. After pressing the pound key, you will receive a verification successful message. Click Done to proceed into your account. How do I enable MFA for Google? Step 1. Log into your Google account. Log into your Google account settings by going to the following site, myaccount.google.com. Once you're in your Google account settings, click on the Security tab on the left-hand side of the screen. Step 2. Turn on two-step verification. While in the Security tab, scroll down and change the two-step verification to on. You will get a pop-up for two-step verification. Click Get Started to continue. You will be given an option to use your phone as your second step to sign in. To get a code by text message or a phone call, click Continue. Choose to receive a code by text message or a phone call. Add your phone number, including the area code, then click Send. You will get a text message on your phone from the number 22000, or if you select phone call, you will receive a phone call from Google Fi. The automated message will thank you for using Google Phone Verification and will give you the verification code twice before ending the call. Enter the code either texted to you or from your phone call from Google. Click Next. A small window will pop up indicating that Google is validating the PIN that you entered. Another small pop-up will appear that Google is turning on two-step verification. Click Turn On to continue turning on two-step verification. You will now see the device and phone number that you entered previously under two-step verification in your Google account settings. Step three, select second step verification. In your account settings under the security tab, Add a second step to verify that it's you. Scroll down and select from Backup Codes or use the Google Authenticator app. To choose Authenticator app as your additional step to verification, click on Authenticator app. To get verification codes from the Authenticator app, first download the Google Authenticator app from the Google Play Store or the iOS App Store. Then click on Setup Authenticator. Open the Authenticator app on your phone and tap on the plus sign. Choose Scan a QR Code. Then scan the QR code on your computer with your phone's mobile device while in the Authenticator app. Once scanned, you will get a message on your phone saying the secret is saved. Click Next on your computer. Alternatively, you can select to enter a setup key instead of scanning the QR code. This will prompt you to enter your account manually. Enter the six-digit code from your Google Authenticator app in the Enter Code box on your computer screen. Click Verify to continue. The Authenticator app has been successfully set up as your second step verification. Now when you need to authenticate, you will receive a prompt on your mobile device verifying that you are trying to sign in. If you lose your phone or otherwise can't get codes by text, call, or the Google Authenticator, you can use backup codes to sign in to your Google account. To choose backup codes as your additional step to verify, click on backup codes. To print a list of backup codes that you can enter to sign in, select Get Backup Codes. Google will then create and display a set of 10 backup codes. Print out these codes or download them to use as your second step verification. Store these backup codes and do not share them with anyone else. Note, once you use a backup code to sign in, that code then becomes inactive. You can create a new set of backup codes whenever you want. Simply hit refresh on this screen and the new codes will be generated.